Please welcome to the stage your UKI SUG chairman, Paul Cooper. So good morning, everybody. It's amazing to see you all. We're going to keep the lights down a little bit dim after the, uh, the opening video there, just for you to wipe away the tears and, and reflect on the last year, and also give me time to make sure the microphone's working. I had to get that in to wind up the sound guys at the back. Anyway, good morning, welcome, and thank you for coming to this year's Connect. It's great to see so many of you in person. It just is amazing to, to, to actually be back face to face. Our enforced break last year made me realize quite how much I enjoy and look forward to this event every year. Although we've done extraordinarily well as a user group over the last year, as we shifted to an online events organization rather than being face to face, I'm glad to see from today in the exhibition hall last night just how the appetite and passion for physical events remains very strong. Like many organizations, We've taken time over the last year to reflect on why we exist and what we as a user group stand for. We went through an extensive exercise talking to our members, affiliates, and SAP. And as a result of these discussions, it was very clear that our mission and our purpose is to create one vibrant SAP community where members can learn and develop together and speak with one voice. Now, this isn't a departure from the old. It's just a reaffirmation of the vital role of all of us in this room today, and we play in supporting each other to drive maximum value and success from our use of SAP. Craig Dale, CEO of the user group, has been at the center of this work. So I'd actually like to invite Craig onto the stage to tell us a little more. Craig? God, it's good to be back, isn't it? It's just lovely to see everybody, as Paul said, face to face, in person, and just great to be back here in Birmingham. And thank you all for being here. Just before I dive into what we've been doing, just thought I'd share a quick video with you, just to give you a little insight into what we've been up to in the last year. <laughs> UKISUG was founded with the purpose of motivating and enabling people to bring out the best in themselves and others. And today we continue to evolve our founding purpose as our world and community change, but people remain at the core of what we do and who we are. UKISUG is the driving force behind everything and all elements in our vibrant community through our resources, events, information, and network, everyone in our community can benefit as we all learn and develop together. By speaking with one voice, we can speak in all directions simultaneously. We can talk as one united community. We've not arrived here by chance. Extensive research, analysis, and interrogation have been used and took us to this juncture. 
Everybody left with fingernails. It's all right. There was no real serious waterboarding or anything involved in that. But we've used those insights to gather a variety of feedback from our key stakeholders. Three key areas were highlighted as focal points for our community evolution. And our community will be knowledgeable, passionate, and human. The strength and the value in our fantastic community is the knowledge that resides within the community. We're able to facilitate a wide range of resources and nurture the knowledge of our whole community to aid with any queries about SAP, whether that's from customers, partners, and even SAP themselves. We're a vital resource for members across many industry specialisms, and we help you drive success. We're passionate about what we do and how we engage with you all, whether it be face-to-face -face like at this event, online, on the telephone, email, however, in social media, etc. We are a vibrant collective voice within our community. But people are at the heart of everything that we do, providing a network and building a community for everyone in the world of SAP. We're an inclusive community of real people. We collectively share knowledge for the benefit of all of our members in a way that is accessible to you all. In short, this all forms the vision of the future of UKISUC. Later, I'll delve into our strategy, which aligns with our purpose and takes us full force towards our vision, driving success for the whole SAP community. Thank you. I'd just like to thank all of you that participated in the work that we did to build what Craig's just been talking about and we'll talk on later on. As chair of the user group, it was kind of a hairs on the back of the neck moment reading what had been written by our members, affiliates, and SAP as to what we do and how we do it. So thank you very much for that. So what's been happening at SAP in the last year or two? 18 months ago, SAP announced extending the maintenance deadline for ECC6 from 2025 to 2027. This was very welcome, especially alongside the significant impact the pandemic had been having on our members, which had delayed some organizations move to S4 or caused them to refocus on other projects. Rise with SAB has been a big focus for them this year. Launched earlier this year by the CEO, Christian Klein, SAP has positioned RISE as a solution to help organizations smoothly transition from on-premise legacy ERP systems to the cloud and S4 HANA. From a user group perspective, we'd say it's still early days for RISE. Every customer situation is different Many need a clear understanding of the commercial impact and how it affects existing cloud investments before they can make an informed decision whether to go down the rise route. It's because of this that we've dedicated a stream at the conference this year to rise, and that will be running through the two days. And I'm pleased to say that we have Inchcape, an SAP customer, presenting later this afternoon about their journey and experience with rise so far. S4 HANA continues to be a very hot topic amongst our membership. The vast majority of you are now on your journey to S4 HANA. In our latest annual survey, 74% of you are using or planning to use S4 HANA. In fact, 26% of you are now using S4 HANA. That's up from 16% last year. And the vast majority of you that have moved are satisfied with what you've had which is great news. With many more of you using S4 HANA, we thought it was a good time during our survey to ask you about your implementation experience. It's great to see that over half of you had a good or excellent experience. Picking the right partner, managing change, and putting in place the right training are all key issues. We've been working on delivering content that tackles these issues Check out our podcast episodes from earlier in the year or the session this afternoon on mastering your transformation success. 
SAP has also been putting pressure on the partner community to improve delivery quality. It's also been very interesting to see member feedback in our annual survey about the level of training provided by partners during the S4 HANA implementations. This is an area that SAP and partners must look at. We'd love to see the vast majority of members reporting a good or excellent experience here. SAP needs to help partners provide a better training experience, and partners need to up their game. As customers, we've got a part to play. We need to make sure that the partners are providing us with the correctly certified consultants for the projects that they're working on. Training is critical to a smooth transition to S4. It's a new system where many of us following old, will be following new processes to ensure that we drive the return on investment. But this will falter if people aren't properly trained during the project. We as users have a responsibility to drive better and more tailored training. We can't expect excellent experience if we don't spend time helping the partners really understand our unique needs and how our training needs to happen. As one community, though, we are perfectly primed to make sure we get training right as more and more organizations move to S4. Anna. For those of you that aren't on S4 HANA yet, what should you be thinking about? Two key points have come out from our survey. Firstly, customization. Most of us have got many years of customizations to contend with in our SAP systems. For many of us, that's a daunting part of our move to S4 HANA. What should we do with these legacy customizations? The biggest piece of advice I can offer is to review your current implementation strategically and thoroughly and consider what's the right way forward for each of those customizations. Consider the pros and cons of keeping or rebuilding customizations versus the standard functionality and best practice that the S4 HANA and other cloud solutions provide you with. If ever there was a time, it's now to carry out that strategic review. One other interesting stat from our survey relating to S4 HANA is change management. Change management will be critical to your success of an S4 project. A third of organizations have made the move to S4 HANA, underestimated the change management effort required to be successful. If there's one thing that I've learned from these types of projects over the years, it's that if you, you underestimate change management at your peril. In fact, the user group is launching a cost of change white paper later this week. So watch out for that. And that will talk around the topics of change management and the costs and how to execute that in a much better way. And also, some change management will get touched on during the, the, the next keynotes. Unsurprisingly, there is a concern about lack of skills around S4 HANA. I wouldn't like to suggest that there's a shortage of skills. But with so many of you concerned about the issue, it's fair to say that it's a challenge that we are all facing. While there clearly isn't a silver bullet to address this, it's up to the entire SAP ecosystem, SAP, the partners, and us as members in the community, to work together to make sure that organizations have the support and skills they need to be successful. The annual survey always gives us a in good insight in where you are all up to in your use of SAP and the challenges you face. In addition, this year, we've actually asked our volunteers to pose what they see as the most pressing questions they would like to put to SAP. As a result of that, later this morning, we'll be holding a panel discussion after the break with key SAP executives and members of the user group volunteer community to ask three key questions about RISE, integration, and the transformation at SAP that McKeel will also be talking about. Before I finish, I'd like to say a few thank yous. Firstly, to the partner community. 
Without your support, we couldn't make this event what it is. To all of you out there in the member community, the exhibition hall, if you haven't been before, is the heart of our conference. So please engage with the partners and sponsors at Connect. Secondly, I'd like to say a massive thank you to the guys at the front in yellow and orange shirts, our volunteers and the Teesside team. They jointly work together to ensure the success of our special interest groups and our Connect conference. Thirdly, I'd say the pandemic has given us all an extremely challenging two years. And it is great to see you all here in person, as I've already said and Craig mentioned as well. So I'd like to thank you for coming to this event and continuing to support your user great group and make it the success it is. I hope you have a great couple of days and say hello as you see us over the next few days. Thank you very much.